hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to configure odoo 17 in pycharm and in case you missed previous discussion about what is database cli commands and how to use please check link is given in the description and if you want to learn more about odoo you can visit the wablens channel under the playlist you can see odoo 17 development tutorial is here and this is the main playlist for the Odoo 17 and if you want to learn more about Odoo with older versions you can visit this Odoo development and here you can see different types of playlists available with the different topic wise with the real test cases. So let's back to our main topic like how we can configure Odoo 17 in PyCharm and guys if you didn't subscribe this channel please subscribe so it will help me a lot. So let me minimize this one. You can see the Odoo I configured in the desktop, right? And this one I want to configure in the PyCharm. So first thing is I will start the PyCharm. Let's say I'm using community version 2021 and I already configured older Odoo versions, right? So you can see here the list of projects available. But in your case, if you are doing first time, so it won't be have this kind of list, right? here the first thing is you have to go to in the open and you can see the desktop right and here uh, you can see once you just select the odoo directory the main directory and open that's it and now you can see here everything is available so this is odoo 17 version right and last time you also saw like how to create a configuration file also from the terminal so guys if you remember we already created one virtual environment right this one and we are using like this source then after bean and activate right after it will start this so right now we are in the virtual environment and after that like we can just use this Odoo service in the backend side, right? And when you open in the browser, right, using admin admin, so it's working at the moment. The I mean the service, right? The Odoo service here. So now we are trying to configure the same Odoo service in the PyCharm. So first thing is I'm trying to stop the service. Now you can see it's offline mode. Now here, first thing is I'm going to the PyCharm, preferences, right? Here we don't need to touch anything. Here we are just going to the project, write this project in the interpreter and simple. I'm going to the add. And guys, we already created a virtual environment so here we don't need to use this new environment so instead we have to use existing environment go to here right and just select this one this option the odoo 17 under the bean right you can just use python python 3 or python 3.11 it's up to you so i'm using here let's say python 3.11 and once i click here click ok right and now you can see preloaded like whatsoever library installed right here it's everything is updated here automatically okay right after this add configuration you can see here like this right once you click here you can see there is nothing here so you can just click to add python and here like i'm using odoo weblands project so this is my project name in your case you can add your project name here we have to provide the bean path the odoo bean path right so, so just select i'm here just selecting this one odoo desk bean so after that in the parameters if you remember in the terminal we are providing all the things right here let's say clear so here we are using the the db name right then after w the password then after r user then after let's say 
the HTTP port and all the parameters I mean like after this whatsoever is here right we are using here all the commands so the C I mean the CLI commands those things it would be add here always so in our case let's say the weblangs.config like this after that you can see uh, python interpreter you have to choose accordingly so our latest one would be this one we are using actually python 3.11 don't confuse here this python 3.10 okay so this one and after that the working directory would be always your auto directory at the moment okay and after that you can just click to apply and okay and now you can see the your project is ready now the question is if you are working with the multiple projects right in Odoo 17 then you can just use here the multiple configurations like this the project 2 right then after let's say the project 3 so like this after that your configuration file also different and let's say if you are using the older version or newer python version and you are using let's say the odoo 16 right you can just create the virtual environment and use that virtual environment let's say if you are using for the 15 make sure you can also use like this odoo 15 and the project name and in our case here right so let me delete this one so in our case odoo 17 web lunch project like this okay and after that you can click to this button so it will automatically start odoo service from here okay you can see like this and again if you refresh the screen you can see the odoo is working fine right and all the logs right in from the terminal you can see here in the pycharm terminal the same thing you can also use here the terminal like this so the main benefit is you can see once you click to the terminal it will automatically active the virtual environment which you configure for this current project right so this is the benefit here and you can do anything also here let's say the if you want to do some operations in the terminal you can continue not only the one window but you can also use the second third fourth right you can use the same terminal here after that this run command you can also clear the logs right and once you refresh the screen you can see the new logs will add here so this is the basic thing about how you can configure odoo 17 in pycharm if you have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in our next session our next session would be how you can create a new module using the scaffold command using the terminal all right so see you there